During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about a controversial subject, and that is burning crop residue to make the soil black. Well, when you don't get fall tillage done to take care of things like corn stalks that are on top of the ground, especially in the northern climates, it's really difficult for soil to warm up in the spring when it's covered by all this residue. So farmers look for any way they can to get that residue out of the way. Normally it's done with tillage by just tilling it underneath the black soil. It works great. You're mostly black on top of the ground. Soil warms up and dries out. Everything's great. But when we get a fall like last year where it's wet and fields don't get worked, it gets to be a challenge in the spring. Yeah, so then what farmers are looking at is, should I burn that residue? A lot of them will say, well, if I don't get the residue burned, then I don't know if I'll even be able to plant this year. So it's a really tough dilemma, and we'll show you why it's such a tough dilemma. So the two main issues are these. Number one, is it good for the environment? Number two, how many nutrients does the farmer lose when he burns the residue? As far as the environment goes, having that smoke coming out of a field as you're burning is one thing that's certainly annoying to neighbors. But the other thing is the danger of the fire as well. Will it spread? Will you be able to contain it? Will there be any wildlife that's in jeopardy? All these issues definitely have to be dealt with. So what many farmers do that try to burn is they'll do night burning or they'll burn on a day where it's not windy at all so the smoke goes up instead of over. There are quite a few factors that farmers can control but the environmental impact, the thing that I look at is the loss of that organic matter out in the field. You've got all the nutrients that are in that plant. The question is how many do you really lose? Well the thing is when we have this residue as a farmer that's sitting out in our fields as that residue decomposes, as it breaks down, it releases nutrients into the soil for our next crop. So it's great. We love residue out there because over time it will give us back some free fertilizer. Well, when you burn, you will lose approximately 100%, 98 to 100% of the nitrogen you've got out there, about 75% of the sulfur, and somewhere around 25 to 35% of the phosphorus and potassium. So this year, especially as high priced as fertilizer is, a lot of farmers are saying, whoa, so if I burn my residue, I could literally give up $50 an acre in plant nutrients and it just goes up in smoke. So yes, it is entirely possible that it could be that costly this year to burn residue. Well, you say $50 an acre sounds like a lot of money for farmers. They look at it and say, well, man, if I can't get my crop in until much later because I couldn't get that soil to warm up and dry out, maybe it's worth spending that $50 just to get things going on my farm, to get that crop in. Maybe there's yield I'm going to lose if I wait and delay my planting. It's tough decisions for farmers to make. And believe me, they are looking at the environmental aspects as well as the financial impacts for their farm. Well, I guess one of the main reasons why we wanted to talk about this with you today is if you are a non-farmer and you see a farmer out there burning the residue off his field, we just wanted you to understand why he's doing it. It's basically so he can get that soil warmed up because once the soil is black and the residue is off, the ground warms up a lot quicker and then it will also dry out quicker so the farmer hopefully can get in this year on time and get his crop planted and maximize yield. Well, maybe a little bit too early for this burning to impact weed control, but farmers will definitely be considering controlling our weed of the week. Can you identify this tough weed?